And we're back, and just like the first quarter, it is Ben Taylor, the reigning medalist in the ruck. And look at that Central's type punch straight, straight down the line. Unfortunately, it's scooped up, and now the Highlanders have a mark right there. Puts it on his right. It's towards their 50, and under it, well, it was a very courageous run by Liam Blake. He oh, took an so amazing I, mark in the first term. Yeah, well, this time he's come from the centre because he started in the ruck, Liam Blake, for the Central Highlands in this second quarter. Yep, so having the kick now for them is Cameron Lovick from Dalesford. His kick finds a host of GDFL talent, almost scooped up there by Cadman, puts his arm up, tries to get the handball out. Just no one's presenting for him. No blocks. What are we doing, boys? There you go. So it's scooped up again there by Joel Shipkett. He had a quiet first quarter. Free kick for two yeah. high. Well, I'll tell you who hasn't had a quiet first quarter. That's Cameron Lovick for Dalesford. I think this will be his second. Fantastic kick of the ball. And yeah, this, this, yeah, this could be pretty damaging, boys, if he gets this early in this second term. Yeah, they're, they're cutting him up in the middle of the ground. The, the, the Judy of are getting absolutely slaughtered. Young uh, Brett Ma is absolutely on fire in there, number three. Yep. And it's taken through for a point to the Central Highlanders. And he comes now. Young Perrett puts it out towards the wing position. Pretty good kick. And in line is Edwards by the looks of it. And he takes the mark. Edwards now, he handballs across over to Kylo Tool. He gets downed after oh, he kicked it, up. and that's a good decision up. That's it, boys. You've got the kick. Don't worry about it. Well done, boys. It's going down now to T-Tack. He's, he's about, he's too far out. He's on the wing. Right. On the, oh, he decides to go for a run and it's get back onto kick. the left boot. Oh. It's gone over the head there of the boys, of the young player in Lockie Sharp. And out they come now, the defence from the Central Highlands. Put us out towards, back onto the wing position. And young Edwards takes another mark. And he's certainly given his honours for the best on the ground at the moment because he's playing brilliant football. Edwards on the left. Puts it back towards T-Tac. He can't quite take the mark. The defence are all there for the Central Highlanders. It's picked up now by Smith. He couldn't quite get it out. But it, oh, it's rolled out now. They're on top of it. Could be Cadman there trying to pick it up. No one can get it. Oh, it's Scrambly playing the forward line this time. But at least it's in the forward line. It's just inside 50, directly in front. Nobody can pick it up on the defence. Or oh, it could be holding the ball there. And he's paid holding the ball. Probably not quite enough uh, prior opportunity. But young Lachlan Sharp, he will now have a shot. The Bannockburn boy, I think he might be too far out to score. He's just inside 50. He'll kick from about 46. Lachlan Sharp. In he comes. Nice approach. It's a terrible kick. He's actually put it to the centre of the square. Maybe he just put it there. Tudak off the ground. No one can get it now. Comes out, then the fence is too strong, Alex. Sure is. Well, Sharp got it down forward, and just like that, you've got all these players, including Lachlan Jones from Warbra, just getting it out of trouble. He finds his teammate right in front of the home, home league's bench. I keep saying side. They're a league today. He puts it on his right. Under it is Michael Cadman, the skipper. Or that's Kylo Tool rather. He's actually had an all yeah, right game played himself. Well. So he finds his teammate there in Tommy Schwenison. He gets his long kick down. It's towards the uh, Werribee Central's Mitch Grubb. He tries to get the tackle. Oh, good now pressure. Good pressure because Titat could get it, could handball it off back to him. Grubb now does a bit of a bit of a sideways tap. Now that was around the neck. He's got it. Luke Cornwall. He's got it. I thought he may have ducked ahead a little bit, but it's a good decision up. Now Cornwall, I think he's the only player that's played in the last, well, the last two interleagues and now three today, he'll line up for goal. Well, that's because he's 26 years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, sh I went to the team bus this morning and I'm like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, I'm still Colts. So, for those uh, joining our uh, coverage, he, he played senior footy two years ago, age of 15, with his dad, Nevada. And Teacher! Taking a specky! What a grab. Well, I told T-Tac he'd kick the first goal of the game. At least he kicked the first goal for his side and his home region. So, there he goes. Geelong, I believe, a 1-1-7. And they currently trail Central Highlands 4-1-25. Now, it says here, Titit. Tit, Titit. It's not T-Tac, it's not T-Tit. T-I-T, T-I-Tit. Well, they call him Titter, so... Titter. Well, let's just call him let's Titter, because I'm that. not sure of the pronunciation. No, his second name's Titak. No, his second name's Nyak. Tit, that's his surname. <laughs> All right, we'll just... Uh, what? We'll, we'll Titat, Tiak, Nyak. 
Regardless, he's he's a talented uh, junior currently with the Geelong Falcons list. Yeah, he's a good kid. Um, I think he's also played a few senior games of late for North Geelong as well. He's, so He's great for me to commentate too because I know who he is. Exactly, because of his ability, Grubby. Benny Taylor taps it down, scooped up. Unfortunately, it's almost won there again by the Highlands. They, oh, nice strong tackle by Ben Taylor. And that's too actually high. got him going, regardless of whether it should have been paid. Been now fight. it's... Well, here we go. A few centrals names. Schwedison puts it on his left. Oh. He almost found Cornwall. Cornwall couldn't quite grab it, but Chesterman keeps it in. We talk about TAC Cup talent. There's the six games from the Western Jets. He finds it towards his teammate. Under it is... Oh, there's a, it's players all over it. Cadman almost had it a second ago. Grubs around it as his... Uh, yeah, I tell you what, he was over the ball for 15 minutes and never tried to get it out. He's, he was in trouble. Well, there's our man, Grubb. Oh, almost. It's not a bad kick by Cadman anyway. It's scooped Missed up it. by Grubb and just a minus Grubby. Score. The real Grubby would have put that right through the middle, Brian. <laughs> My word. The real Grubb. Uh, so one goal, two for the Raiders. A bit more intensity coming in They're here. They're playing a lot the better. Well, yeah. Let's hope this is the scoring end come that last quarter. Well, they've got it out of the centre the last couple of times. Mm. So that's it. Half back for the Highlanders, but for the Raiders, here's an opportunity of a forward turnover. Scooped up there, I think it was Ebel, who gets the handball away. Instead, it's intercepted by Isaac Bowker only momentarily. It's almost like a game of volleyball around this pack, but Jai McEwen's got it from Inverley, puts it on his right. Oh, no, That's good pressure tackle. Uh, good pressure tackle. But all of a sudden, we've had it. One shot at goal in that first turn. We've all of a sudden had about three in the last two minutes. That's a good sign for the Raiders. Geez, that's a dangerous kick. And it's, it's going to prove dangerous too. Beautiful okay. football. Goes over to T-Tac. He's, he's been caught. Puts it into the centre of the ground to Grubby. Puts a nice little handball back to Sharp. Sharp has a shot for goal. He had T-Tac sitting on his own and he missed him and it's gone through for a minor score. Would the real Grubby have given that one off? Or no, he snapped it? it over his shoulder <laughs> for his fifth. His fifth of the quarter. Central Highlands to bring the ball back in. They're manning up pretty well. He hasn't got much to go to, so he goes long. He's gone over the line. Umpires pulled him for going over the line. And there will be a bounce right on the edge of the 10-yard, 10 10-metre 10 square here at the Central Highlands Oval. I hate it when umpires do that, but you've got to stay in the... Up it goes okay. now. Big punch, trying to punch it through. The defence, he's... Oh, he's run it through them yep. for another point. For, I was nearly going to say Werribee yeah, Central, Central, no, Central, Central right. Highlanders. That was uh, actually Bungaree's Lockie Prendergast, <laughs> so he might have done that a few times on this ground. His teammates have gotten it as far back as probably 70 out from the, uh, from the uh, Raiders' goal, the visitors' goal. And now they're out of trouble for a few moments. Now it could be intercepted. So that, that's... Uh, I'm, I'm looking towards... I think that was... I thought it was Cornwall. Parrot's around it. Parrot almost had it there. Now it's picked up by the Highlanders' Lockie Johns, who's actually... The Warbra Stars had a few of the ball. So is this boy, Jai McEwen. One of the youngest, and he still gets the handball away. They just need that block now, the Raiders. Unfortunately, it's turned over, and now it's stalemate again as they're all running for it. One of those wobbly bounces. Now it's picked up by... Uh, who was that? That was Tommy Schwenison. He's actually had a bit this second Good quarter. Kick, son. And it's a mark taken there by, I reckon, Shipcott, maybe? Tell you what, the Swinnersons have put a hell of a lot into GDFL football over the years. They sure have. They've been of uh, comment recently due to social media, for all the positive reasons, of course. And we'll get a turnover by the Highlanders. Left foot kick. It's a one-on-two pressure. Could be out in the full here. No, he's given a free kick. Yeah. Might have given him a bit of a shove and shoved him under the ball. Well, the crowd's slowly building here in front of the... Uh, Frawley oh, Pavilion, but Jai McEwen, what, you know, Mark McDowell is actually looking at players like him, Aussie Parrott, even Spider Brady's boy, Jaden Brady, and he's, he's starting to look at the fiction and right, right, we'll have a few senior debuts. One guy that has had his senior de debut is Cole O'Toole, he snaps it, unfortunately, that kick, I hope he doesn't do that in the seniors, because it went straight to Liam Blake from Creswick. Oh, he left his man, gee. Here we go, anyone's ball here. Don't oh. do that. 
got to be careful now. Well, that was bad. That was bad play by young uh, Cameron Lovig then. He's played a good game, but mm. bad football. He never looked. Well, the Raiders are looking to get it out onto the opposite wing. Jared Fletcher from Werribee's tried to take it. Done, done well. He's Should've actually marked done it, well. So it's scooped up there by Elia Tsizakaris. Or a liar. And now the Highlanders. They're just dominating the uh, forward entries due to their pressure in the middle. Now's their chance if they get the handball away. Instead, it's scooped up. Jai's left for it. It's a one on three, but I'm still, still there he goes. And Cole O'Toole, who's, I think. It's a better kick, son. I think Cole's been one of the best in the Raiders' back six, to be honest. Who's his dad, Brian? Kyle. Yeah. Uh, not too sure. One of the numerous O'Toole's out there, I'd say. Grant. Well, I, th I think it might be. It wouldn't be a Smith or a Jones, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Kyle Ebel, he gets his kick right towards the centre there. And it's uh, Sazakis again. He gets his kick. He's found Cornwall. He's about 50 out. Tries to get it in front of oh. Benny Taylor, the medalist from last year. Can he keep it in? He's running towards it. Just kick it off the ground towards your teammates. Nyack's around it. Nyack's got his arms around. Good defence. Now, here we go. They don't have a lot of options here, so unless they get the chip kick, which is what they do. Oh, good mark. Great mark by Luke Prendergast from Newland. And he, he'll kick it to the side. And I think he's found Johns. Might not be. He gets his kick. Tazakis again. Tell you what, he's had a good five minutes, this kid. Could be up for a Werribee senior debut. Who knows? Long kick See, forward. Kid. Yeah, yeah, there's nine Werribee kids out there. Jeez. You'd take him, wouldn't you? Well, the thing is... I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So um now tell us now, we've got a mark. Well I just think Werribee Centrals are in division two, where all the rest of the yep. sides are in division one, so you are gonna have a few. Mm. Punch son, you have to punch from behind. Oh. Young smart. Oh, oh great smother. Fantastic work there. I think that was Fletcher. No, he's holding the man. Oh, oh no, he's no. holding the ball. Sorry, Brad Carlton, you're uh Young Nobby. Your young Novi, fantastic work by him. It's in front of the home league's bench. Trying to get it out of trouble, but there were just too many Highlanders around the ball and they'll try and get it out of trouble. So they'll get the kick. It's towards the wing. It's intercepted there by Nobby again. And Carlton will almost, almost create the stoppage. But no, nah, Sazakis again. So now they'll get the kick away. It's another forward entry. Only this, oh no, actually, there you go. Didn't have his body behind the ball. Therefore, we have an opportunity for the Raiders. Scooped up there by, I was going to guess, holding the man decision. And a throw, and it's going to go to the Raiders from about 60 metres out. Well, Chesterman's just throwing it to his teammate now. If we can just zoom in. Thanks for that. Aussie Parrot. Okay. So he puts it on his right. Gets it above Nia. Oh, over the top. Look at that. Ben Taylor. Benny Taylor, you beauty. Could be back-to-back -back medals at that... Uh, Galvin Park Trophy room, thanks to him. Oh, I think there's a couple of kids in front of him at this point in time. Mm. The kid from Inverlee has played pretty well. Yep. Both Inverlee boys, you saw Parrot's kick yeah, going they, in there. Yeah, they both play pretty well. They're all, they're all starting to play that little bit better. Yep. Oh, it's a shocking kick. and oh, How the hell? There's no one in the goal square. And he's missed it. Could have just dribbled it round, gone straight through. Could have turned around and kicked it out of his bum. Yep. Anyone would think Yapper was the kicking coach at Werribee he Central. Probably is. He yeah, probably Jesus is. Jesus Christ. I saw, him, I saw him kick a bloke in the commercial hotel. Well, no, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm only making it up. It says junior broadcast boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're on the forward 50 arch and we've got a stoppage again. So this momentum that the uh, GDFL, they have to capitalise on it now with accuracy. If they don't, you may as well just give the Highlanders the game. So the ball up. You had Fletcher amongst it. We have a few players in it. Chesterman was ne nearby, but it's kicked out of out of danger by the Highlanders. Only as far as McEwen, but Bad now bounce. they've got it again. And look at this. He's got the mark here, but yeah, you've no, got to no run back, present. son. Someone's got the mark. You run back. Run back. So he's popped it on his right. It's a one-on-two contest. Under it is, well, it was not too bad of mitts by Lockie Hull from Clunes, Bobby Davis territory, but it's now scooped up. And Edwards, he finds his Indigenous counterpart in Kyle O'Toole. He puts it on his right. He finds Cornwell. He's That's 50. Tenure. That's 50 up. 
All right, so he's about 55 out. He puts it on his right. He's got Ben Taylor. Now, again, you've got this, Mark. He used the body well. And we've got the perfect view here from the commentary position. So please, Benny boy, make this your goal. Well, I'll tell you what. If he kicks it like he kicked the last one, you've got absolutely no hope of making the distance. So let's just hope he gets his foot in it, puts the boot into the ball, and he comes. And he's done another shocker, Ooh, and it's going to come around a little nah. bit, but not far enough. And there's another point. Or another behind, I should say, to the Geelong Raiders. What's the score there now, Alex? Oh, it's just uh, going to ask you boys the same question. Um, Cogs, are you writing a few things down? I think it's one, one goal. <laughs> one six, I think we've kicked now. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll go with that. Aren't you just keeping the score, you idiots? Don't you give me that. I've been doing all the work here. And speaking of the work, we've got a fair bit going around 55 out from the Raiders' goal. So the kick's away from the Highlanders, only as far as Inverley's Jai McEwen. He gets the mark. He's going to assess, look for something towards the centre. He was going to backtrack for a second. Thankfully, he puts it on his right, and it's back in the forward 50. And Sazakis. He's got to get that. In the back, Mark, whatever you want. Well done, up. He's the Werribee Central's prodigy, one of nine. So he'll uh, he'll go back and he'll assess. Could you bang it a bit harder? Uh, there, you Jack? have to. It won't shut. Yeah. So this could be the end of the goal drought for no, the quarter. No. Yes, it's gone hey. over the top. I tell you what, they've misread it in the goal square. You work that one out, how he missed all those set shots from wow. 10 out, and then that one just pops straight through. But you know what? I'm not complaining. We'll take it. Hey? Second. Mm. Oh. So we got, we have three well, minutes left before uh, the main break. Yeah. <laughs> As the boys go back in their positions, we got the, the uh, water boy. 3-2 to 2-6. Now write it down, you galah. So uh, just to make up for... Uh, Grab his stats work. It's 3-1 to 2-6. 3-2 to 2-6. 3-2 to 6. Tongue tied. Cogsy, help us out. Call the game for him. Here they go into attack again, the GDFL, and that's uh, the young fellow there in Austin Perrett drives up towards her forward. It's a Got a free kick. kick. I think it's a free kick to the GDFL. And it's Ben Taylor, so he's 0-2 right now for the quarter. Yapper's little protege or big protege from the Centurions, but I'll tell you what, he's having a shocking day on the kicking field. Yeah, but you know what, boys? This, this Third time lucky, Ben. This goal will get us the lead, so let's actually, if, if there's one we want him to kick, it's this one. And it is a... Well, he kicked that one a bit better, goal. son. Well done. Great work there. That takes the GDFL under three goals, 6.24, the... Central Highlands 3-2-20 and we've played 18 minutes into this second quarter here at the Bungaree Recreation Reserve. Well, I mean, credit just in, in the middle part of this uh, term, this term, of course, down to the last two minutes before half-time, but to, um, you know, the half-back line of the GDFL, we've actually held them goalless. Um, and that's that. a lot of that has to do with Jai McEwen from Inverley. Um, redhead boy, tall, beautiful mark. He's, he's leading with potential. Jared Fletcher's leading the uh, tap out right there. Nyack almost was on the end of it, but it's a beautiful well, that's throwing the ball Fletcher. umpire, and he's seen it. It's starting to do a pretty good job, these umps, as Fletcher picks it up. Ooh. He's been caught, but he gets his boot to the ball, and out comes the defence of the Central Highlanders. Puts it up towards centre-half forward. One-on-one, -on -one. that's what we like to see, but a great spoil. In there is Joy McEwen again, but he gets beaten for the ball this time. Comes over the top, a punch out, and away they go. Who's that? That could be Perrot or Chessman. Puts it over the top, gets it out now. Oh, he's been caught with the ball, unfortunately, and that's a good decision by the umpire. And the Central Highlands boy will have the shot for goal. Is that Blake? Is it Liam Blake? Looks it. On he's way he's one of those up. nice tall kids. He's a very good kick. If it is, and you'd almost put your glasses down if it's him. Oh, dead set sharpshooter, Grubby. Not a problem. In he comes. 35 out. 45 degree angle. He hasn't kicked it too well. He's landed it in the goal square. And it's a big mark. A big mark to the Central Highlanders full forward. Gee, that was a good mark. Probably should have been a few fists in there, but he was just too good, the kid. That's going to be, looks like Tom Livieri, and he puts it straight through the middle, and the Central Highlanders, they regain the lead. They go to 4-2, 26, to Werribee, oh, Werribee Centrals, to the Raiders, 3-6, Had a good mark and kick, Brian Coglin. Yes, Grubber was um, 
very good effort there from the Central Highlands. They've, they've had a bit of a slack period in this quarter, and they've just the junior fella played really well. As the siren's about to blow here at the uh, Bungaree Oval. There it is. You've called it, Cogs. Well, boys, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the second half.